Today, Sunday, November 20th, is the Feast of Christ the King. Today, Scripture tells us that God our Father has transferred us into the kingdom of His Son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. The celebrant for this Mass is Father Jim Hickey. The Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Antoinette and Everett Ferry. Today's second collection is for the retired sisters of the Archdiocese of Boston. Good morning. Good morning. Please join with us in singing our entrance song, number 468 in the Green Journey Songbook, to Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King, number 468, please rise. I want everyone who's not a little kid to be seated. Little kids stay standing so you can see me, all right? There's all those big people around. Let's begin. We've learned how to do this now, right? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And then the response is in with your spirit. So I give you a blessing, and you give the blessing back to me, okay? May Jesus Christ, our King, be with you. Thank you. This is a wonderful feast. And it's especially about people preparing for First Communion. Because what Jesus is, in a special way, you are also. I hope to teach you that today, okay? So could I invite everybody? Let's just close our eyes for a minute. Have we done anything wrong this week? Were we mean to anybody? Did we disobey God's commandments or anything that he tells us to do? Maybe we did. Lord Jesus, we're sorry for things we've done wrong. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Somebody say, Amen. Now, everybody, could you pick up the green book? Little kids, especially. All right. 
Turn to the inside of the front cover. Little kids stand, everybody stand. Let's sing to God, everybody, come on. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. the most high Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father Amen Now boys and girls and everybody I want you inside your own mind, in your heart, to talk to God. That's why we came here. So let's close our eyes, and as well as you can, give God your love and ask him to bless us. Let us pray. Almighty God, our ever-living Father, you decided to make everything new all over again in your beloved Son, Jesus, the King of the universe. We ask you this morning, Father, that all creation be set free from slavery and give your majesty perfect service and that we, your Christians, without stopping, praise you and love you through our King Jesus Christ, your Son who reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, somebody say, Amen. Let's be seated and would you pick up that green book again? Now this is important. It may be hard for little kids to follow it entirely, but I think you can. Would you turn to number 1029? I'd like to talk about this reading because they do something to make David the king of the Jewish people, the king of Israel. I want to talk about that as regards you. The second reading is one of the greatest readings about Christ as Lord. Hard for kids to take in, but adults can take it in. And then surprisingly, we see Jesus as king in a way you would never expect. 1029, Keith, God bless you as you read. Thank you, Father. The first reading is a reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. So we always respond to God. He's just told us something. So we use one of the Psalms to sing back to him. Please join with us in singing the responsorial Psalm, number 218 in the Spirit and Song Book. I rejoiced, number 218. Come on. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. Strongly built is Jerusalem. say, let us go to the house of the Lord, let us go to our friends and family, may the peace of God be with you always, for the love of God's house, I will pray for you, will pray for your good. Everybody now, come on. Rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us go. So back in the green book at number 1029, you turn the page. This is one of the most powerful presentations in scripture of the divinity and the reality of Christ being God. Let's hear the word. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones and light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, 
and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, sing to our God, hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Sing to our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our Father, David, that is to Now we always stand for the gospel, but I want the children to perceive what we're doing. So all adults be seated and children remain standing. So like at the beginning, I give you a blessing because we're going to read Jesus' word and you give it back to me. And then we bless ourselves in a special way with our thumbs on our foreheads, on our lips, and in our heart which originally reflects the prayer of the deacon that his mind, his lips, and his heart proclaim the word. So let's try it. The Lord be with you. A proclamation to the church, the gospel of Jesus according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Surprisingly, it's Good Friday. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, ha, he saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him as they approached to offer him wine. They called out, ha, if you were the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, yelled at Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. And the other, however, rebuking him, telling him different things, said to him in reply, aren't you afraid? You're going to meet God. You're going to die. You are subject to condemnation. And you know what? We were condemned correctly. We committed crimes. We did terrible things. But this man, Jesus, has done nothing wrong. Then that guy who was hanging on the cross next to Jesus turned to Jesus. This is a great sentence, everybody here. Jesus, remember me when you come 
into your kingdom? And Jesus said to him, Oh, amen. I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. People, the wonderful gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, we praise you. Little kids, be seated. Lord Jesus, I ask you, help me to do a good job for everyone here that you speak to them, especially to First Communion kids and their families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Now, what I need to do, especially for little kids, is for you to get this, okay, so it makes sense to you. You with me? You know what a king is. How many of people have heard that word king before? All right. Can you tell me what is a king? Can you tell me what's a king? It's a person who is like, like has a crown and he has a queen and stuff. Okay, he's a person who has a crown and, and a queen and stuff. <laughs> Excellent. You guys got that, right? If you take a look up here, we got a picture of Jesus. And he has a crown on his head, okay? So, can you think there's a, guy, a country called England? It's over in Europe. They have a king. Does anybody know his name? How about any adults? Charles. Charles the what? Third, right. He's going to be crowned king later on. Now, it's interesting that today, as we think about this, the first thing that they give us, the Bible gives to us, is the story of a king named David, okay? He's the king of the Jewish people. Jesus is a Jewish person, okay? So is Mary, his mother. And we spiritually are Jewish people because we believe in the true God. But what happened is this. They decided to make David their king. You with me? So let me open the word of God. They did something special to him. Listen. King David made an agreement with his people, the Jewish people, the Israelites. And they anointed him as king. Now this is important. You with me? The word Christ. You know that. We say Jesus Christ. Sometimes we say Jesus is the Messiah. Those words, Christ in Greek and Messiah in Hebrew, mean someone who's anointed. So let me show you something special, all right? Up here, you can see the baptismal font where many of you were baptized in water and the Holy Spirit came into your life. Now, next to it above is a cabinet. It's called an ambry. It's made of oak grown in Rockland. And a wonderful Protestant man named George made it many years ago. So I'm going to open it up. And if you notice inside, there are three shelves. Some of you close by can see. And there are three kinds of oil. Because people who get anointed are anointed with oil. You with me? Okay. And one of these special oils is called Holy Chrism. And it was used for every one of you when you were baptized, okay? And if you get a chance, it's perfumed. Mmm, smells lovely. <laughs> and what happened was, after you were baptized, the priest took some of this oil and he started a prayer. He said to you, of course, you were about this big, right? Huh? You with me? The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Spirit, has made you a new creation, set you free from original sin, and brought you into his holy people. Now he, God the Father, anoints you with this oil, the chrism of salvation. As Jesus was anointed 
a prophet, someone who speaks for God, a priest, someone who worships God, and a king, okay? Someone who takes care of people for God. You were anointed. Can I show how I did it? Somebody want to help me? Anybody want to help me? Want to come out? Come on out here with me. Little girl with a placard dot there. Come on out. Yeah. Come on. Everybody paying attention? Are you going to get your first Holy Communion? All right. Come on over. So the priest took the oil, all right, and he put it on the top of your head, okay? He had to be careful because when you were little, everybody know this? You were at a soft spot, right? Anybody ever tell you that? The top of your head was growing closer. So the priest had to be very careful. You with me? And I anointed you with, or the priest did, as a prophet and a priest, and then like a crown, like a king. Okay? You guys remember that? You do, don't you? Parents, you remember that, right? Why don't you go back to your seat? Now, I have a funny story. I need to make it make sense to kids, right? So if we talk about a king, well, as the guy said, he's got a crown and all that stuff. But if you watch today in the story, Jesus is being crucified, isn't he? He's dying on the cross. And everybody's making fun of him. They're insulting him. They've already beaten him terribly. They spit in his face. It's terrible what they did. And everybody's doing it after he's crucified. He's nailed up to the cross like he is up there in the picture in our church. And only a few people stayed with him. One of the persons was the person on the left. That's Mary, his blessed mother. And the person on the right is named John the Evangelist. And there were two other guys crucified. And one is screaming at him. Get us out of here. Get us down. If you're the Messiah, if you're the king, take care of us. But the other guy understood. The Holy Spirit came into his heart. He said, you know, I did terrible things. That's why they're crucifying me. And he spoke to Jesus. You heard it, didn't you? It's lovely. He doesn't say any special words. He doesn't say your majesty or any of that. He says the name that's wonderful. The name above every name. Jesus, he says, please remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said a wonderful thing, didn't he? He said, today you will be with me in paradise, in heaven. Jesus came to save people. He didn't come to push people around. He was anointed by the Holy Spirit to bring peace to the world to bring peace to your lives and my life. And he is preparing you girls and boys to receive him in Holy Communion. This is wonderful stuff, isn't it? Isn't it great? He's not a king like other kings. He's gentle. He's kind. There's no one like him in the whole world. You're going to get anointed again, by the way. Some of you here are in confirmation class when you're 15, right? Right? And again, you'll be anointed this time, though, to be a strong and perfect Christian and a soldier of Jesus Christ to go and make a difference in the world. All right. You guys are doing a good job with me. And I'm all out of stuff to say. How about that? <laughs> No, I'm never all out, but I'm going to quit. <laughs> so put it back in here. Now we need to say we believe. So would you stand up? Last night I had a little marriage here in Portuguese and in English. At the middle of it, I said to myself, Hickey, you're an idiot doing this in Portuguese. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but it was a wonderful moment. What I'd like you to remember is that when they got married, they said, I do. Do you take this man to be your husband? I do. It's the English way of saying, the American way of saying, 
Yes. Do you reject Satan and all his lies and all his empty promises? What would you say? I do. Good. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Me too. Do you believe in Jesus, his son? Look at this wonderful church. There he is as the baby Jesus, born of Mary. There he is crucified by Pilate. He died and was buried. But there he is risen from the dead. Do you believe that Jesus is the Lord? I do. I do too. Do you believe that there's a third person in God? The Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life. He makes us to be God's church. He unites us already with the saints and the angels. When we're sorry for our sins, he gives us Jesus' forgiveness. And he promises us paradise, eternal life in heaven. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I do. I do too. So we believe, and in that faith, we speak to God. Keith, would you lead us in prayer? Dear God, during this month of the Holy Souls, we pray, please lead us all to live so that we shall pass through death into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, may we, your church, always show forth the truth, mercy, love, and wisdom of Christ the King. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the souls in purgatory pray for us as we pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, in Christ, be with the people of Ukraine as they continue to face the horror of war. And console with your Holy Spirit the communities ravaged by natural disasters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, heal the sick, particularly those whose names are in our book of prayer intentions and especially Joseph Lamb, Joanne Noyes, Dennis Workheiser, Jim Cassidy, Tiffany Nelson Boyd, Baby Romeo, Baby Lorenzo, Tom Cunningham, Teresa Heinrichsen, T. Lai, Helen Ambrose, Ellen Rose Regan, Marilyn Tyler, Laureen Walsh, Eric Wolf, Baby David Ortiz, Barbara Fournier, Sherry McDougall, Sheila Madayo, Baby Max, and Virginia Lucy. Lift their spirits, Amen. heal them, and give them peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ Jesus, your Father has sent you as Savior of the world. Grant eternal rest to Samuel Olson, Nancy Lang, and Antoinette and Everett Ferry, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all our faithful departed, as well as those in our military who died serving this great nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have our mother. Let's turn to her now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Would everybody be seated except the boys and girls receiving First Communion? And I think there are like six of you. Could you all come out with me, the six of you? They're all mixed in here. They're all mixed in. I don't know. Please join with us in singing our presentation song, number 264 in the Spirit and Songbook. I guess I had the number wrong, huh? <laughs> Worthy is the Why don't you guys come up with number me? Number 264. No, I can only use some of you, okay? So let me give you that. Two hands. Got it? Hang on. Let me do this. All right? Way back, somebody way back. Wanna do another thing? Let me do somebody way back. All of 
you come up to the altar. Everybody, everybody, all the way up and stand in front, right in front, right in front. And you give the gift to me. You turn around and give it to me. Out of way. Excellent. Thank you very much. Good girl. Now that girl. Thank you very much. And all of you, would you bow like me? Come on. Bow. Out of way. Super. Would you go back to your seats? Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. It's just the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the body of the Lord, the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine, goodness of God in water, may we come share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all my sins. I need to say something to all of you before we do the divine mystery. I want to welcome you, especially people for whom this might be the first or second time they've come back since all the pandemic happened. It's hard for people, I know, but it's lovely to make you feel at home. This is your house. Shall we rise, you and I? And before I pray, would you pray? that your gifts and mine be consecrated and that we give Christ to God, the Father, the Almighty. Father, as we offer you the divine mystery, the sacrifice of your Son, 
by which the whole human race is reconciled to you, we humbly ask that your Son, Jesus himself, may bestow on all the nations of the world the gifts of unity and peace. And we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now for the third time, I give you a blessing. You give it back, and we begin to do the great prayer. And I'm going to invite adults at this point I think the smartest thing would be if you were kneeling or be seated and the children remain standing. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Be attentive. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, because you anointed your only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule he might present to the immensity of your majesty, O God, an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice and love and peace. And so, O God, with angels and with saints, we praise you as we sing. Said is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So especially little kids, I want you to be able to see. So if you need to stand on the kneeler, go ahead and do that. Father, you are God. You are holy. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us, your children, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed by one of his own friends, and willingly entered into his suffering and his death. He took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. Heavenly Father, that's not all. At the end of the meal, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for 
This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. O people of God, the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Cry out your faith with the word, Alleluia. Try it. Alleluia. Try it again. Alleluia. Therefore, Father, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his victory, his resurrection, we offer you, Lord our God, his sacrifice, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation. And we thank you that you have counted us worthy to be here in your presence to minister to you. To you, O oh God, we cry. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. And we cry out, Amen. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, bless his health, and Sean O'Malley, our Bishop, and all your clergy and your religious, with them we cry, Amen. Remember your servants, Antoinette and Everett Ferry, whom you have called out of this world to yourself. Grant that they who in holy baptism were united with your son Jesus in a death like his may be one with him in his victory, his resurrection, we pray. Hallelujah. Remember also our other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and everybody who died in your mercy Father, welcome them into the light of your face. We cry to God. Amen. Father, have mercy on us all. We ask that with the Blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we too may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, and we cry, Amen. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of your Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Lots of times we sing the Our Father, but since many of us are still learning it, taught by Christ, formed by his teaching, together we dare to pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with you. Thank you. Let's share a sign of peace with everybody, shall we? Peace. Peace. Thank you. Good. Peace. Peace. Did you get the Eucharist? bring me to judgment and condemnation, but from your loving mercy be for me protection in my mind and body and a healing remedy. I invite you to kneel if you would. So boys and girls, you're not yet able to receive Holy Communion. So when you come up, you come up for a blessing, right? And the way that we know that you want the blessing is simple. You just put your hands across your chest like this. Let me see you do that. Would you do that for me? That's wonderful. And we'll pray with you for a moment. And that might be true for anyone here. So for example, if someone's not a Catholic, we welcome you to come up for the blessing. And I, in Rockland, it makes sense. And sometimes we need to come up for a blessing rather than go to communion. And we know that inside our, our own conscience. My friends, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus himself. He takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to him in this, his supper, the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
again. If you need communion in the bench, do that right now. Please join with us in singing our communion song, number 254 in the Spirit and Song Book, Miracle of Grace, number 254.
please join with us in singing our second communion song, 252 in the Spirit and Songbook, King of My Heart, number 252. Gracious Father, we have received the food that makes us immortal. We will never die. And we have been called to glory in obeying the commands of Christ, who is King of all and King of our hearts. May we come at last, Father, to live with Jesus eternally in his heavenly kingdom. For he is the King and the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thanksgiving this week, Mass on Wednesday evening at 7 and on Thursday morning at 9, both here in the main church. If you'd like, bring the bread that you will use for your dinner on Thanksgiving for it to be blessed. The collection at those two masses goes to provide small personal items for the women incarcerated at the Correctional Institute in Framingham. I've been there a couple of times. It's a sad place in some ways. People need encouragement. 
in one of my former parishes, a lot of people ended up there. And often from, through not their own fault, just the tragedy of poverty. So I thank you for your generosity at those masses. Next weekend, um, until December 11th, would you consider getting a gift for a needy child in Rockland and or for a nursing home person or a person at Pine Street Inn? Check the bulletin, it suggests the gifts and the details for using Sign Up Genius. This is important. It's an important aspect of our life as Catholics. Christmas is about giving. And it might be good to teach our children it's not just about getting. Which brings us to a thing that's here, I know, and that's Beacus. Beacus is our, our scholarship for the children in our sister parish in Honduras. Uh, it helps them to make it. The suggested gift is $250. It could be $2, but I suggest that that's a job that you might do as a family. Think about it. The big deal there is a special needs school. There is no other in the whole country. It's right to support it. Thanks a million. Advent begins next Sunday. Check the bulletin for all the available opportunities to prepare for Christ's coming at Christmas. Check the bulletin for Father O'Dee's offerings for his programs. You're invited to stay after the 7.30 Mass on Sunday mornings here to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for World Peace. We are looking for a greeter for the 4 o'clock Mass on Saturdays. That's a great ministry. It brings everything together. It makes people feel welcome. Um, you can line up at the door to tell me you want to help. <clears throat> Check the bullet for information on our live streaming of Mass at 4 o'clock on Saturdays and during the uh, day on Sunday. And once again, as my mother would say, a hundred thousand welcomes. Let's pray. Oh. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. We are Christ's own, consecrated and anointed. Let us go in peace. Please join with us in singing our recessional, number 196 in the Spirit and Songbook. He is exalted, number 196. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted. Ever exalted and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his holy name. Exalted, the king is exalted on high. Thank you, Genevieve. The king is exalted on high. I will praise you. He is exalted, Gilbert. Exalted on high. Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gia. Good to see you guys. Can I have a bump? Getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high.